Good evening, Adam here. I want to do a quick video to show you how to send automated emails through Monday.com. This will just be a real quick tutorial. It's pretty simple. Uh, you just have to use a couple different automations to do it. And let's just jump right in. So I'm going to use my board I used in a previous tutorial. Uh, the, ba the basic purpose of this board is to send invoices or other requests as an initial request and then follow, follow up down the list and once it's done it goes down into this complete column. So in particular I'm going to show you how to automate two different ways in a board like this. The first one is in, is in the escalate column. This is will be used for a team where you have one person making the request and doing the follow up and then another person, perhaps the boss, perhaps just someone who has you know a stern voice, I don't know. Uh, that you can escalate the task up to if the third-party vendor just won't give you what you need. Uh, and you just need to get somebody else involved to help get the job done. Uh, which, nothing wrong with that. Sometimes it just requires a second person to step in and, and just be the, uh, you know, be the bad cop to the good cop. So, basically, I'm going to show you how to set up an automation to send an email to the bad cop uh, whenever something's moved into the escalate column. And then I'm also going to do another automation that sends an email whenever a due date is reached. So you have the date column. Uh, so it, right now it's set that it'll be 14 days after the, uh, the current date and 30 days in the follow-up column. So it, this will automatically send an email to you when the due date is reached. Or you could have it set to be send an email the day after the due date is reached, whatever you want to do. So let me show you how to do those two automations. So turning now to the automations, you're going to create a custom automation, and let's let's do the status one first of the of stuck. So when you're going to go to when the status changes, and you're going to set the status to escalate, then you're going to do this. You're going to send an email, and for the purposes of this, uh, the easiest way to do it is through a Gmail account. And honestly, just set up a Gmail account of some sort. You can literally just call it, you know, your name, Monday at Gmail, whatever you want to call it. It's just going to be a lot easier to do it, it through Gmail than to do it uh, any other way. You can do a Zapier integration where you basically use another third-party application and you can integrate it. Uh, and if you have a Outlook business, Microsoft 365 business account, you can also integrate it that way. Uh, topic for a different video, though. So if you need help getting your email account integrated, uh, that'll be a different video. So you're going to associate your account. And then for your subject, it can just be monday.com stuck or escalated. And then item name is just the name of whichever invoice or th uh, third party follow-up was stuck. Is stuck, please help. And then you're going to set the email, and I'm going to set it to me. So when you signed up for a Monday account, you had a, an email for that. So you're going to send an email to your primary email account. So I'm going to create that, and then I'm going to do... test email invoice, and I'm going to change it to stuck, or, well, escalate, same thing. So you're going to, first off, you're going to see that it creates a, conver a, a note in the conversation, and here you're going to see that there was an automation that sent the email uh, to this email account, and I'm going to show you what that looks like in just one second. So here's what that email looked like. I'm stuck. Test email invoice won't pay his invoice, and it's just gonna have a notification. I have pictures turned off. A little pretty with the pictures on. So you can click on the link and go back, and it'll take you to that task. The second automated email example I wanted to show you is one where you let, let's do it the day after the due date. So we're gonna add an automation that you get an email whenever something is overdue. So this one is slightly more complicated because you're gonna have to add an additional conditional statement. So you're going to say when the date, so you're actually going to say, it says when the date arrives, we're going to do one day after, and don't set it for 9 a.m. Sometimes they don't work at 9 a.m. Let's just say 8 a.m. So the day after the date, which is the due date, arrives, 
So one day late, but only, so only if it is not done. Because you'll notice if there's stuff that's done on the list, that will the date will go by, and that's fine. The, the task is done. I so you don't want to get emails for every task that's been completed. So you're gonna say if only if this status is not done, then you're going to, and this is just the same thing. Send an email. Overdue follow up. Please, this. No, oh, let me just do. Is overdue. Task name is overdue. And then I'll email it to myself. And this one will send only the day after if a status is not done. I if the status is not done, it'll send me an email, and obviously I, I can't show you what that's going to look like. I but it'll look basically the same exact way. So there are, you know, th these emails are automated once you do the automations and set them up correctly. Uh, there are ways to send emails once a day. I, you can create a new task in a new board and have it send you an email every time it's created uh, or have it sent to somebody else. Uh, there's, quite frankly, it's an infinite number of possibilities. I just wanted to show you that it can be done. Uh, and, and really the limitations are... You know, basically your imagination. That's that's what's sort of fun about these automations is you can do more things than you can even imagine to do to uh, you know, they, that you can even come up with. So uh, that's all I have for today. I hope this was helpful. Thanks.